What's up, guys? How you doing? Can y'all hear me? All right, can y'all hear me now? Yes, no, can y'all hear me? Test, test, one, two. Can y'all hear me? Hello? <laughs> awesome, okay. All right. Okay. Good. All right. What's up, guys? Timothy Curtis. Did I see Jacob in here? Nope. Not yet. Okay. Uh, Luciano and John Darnell, Team Fish Heads. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? I am still hard at work. I'm <laughs> putting more more colors together. And today I'm doing the chartreuse, and I found a glitter. I actually got the label on it. So working on this now. I'm gonna. Get all of this, all of those, go and get them labeled up while I'm sitting here. And as soon as I can get all these done, I'm gonna move over to the weights. I'm not gonna pull a pretty late night on this one. So I have put the mics on so that way, hopefully we'll see if, I don't know, it was weird. Cause I'm thinking maybe because I had the light on earlier when I was doing the spooling that it ate the battery up so much. So I don't know, but right here we're doing it. So, also, too, earlier during the last live video feed, Robert was talking about he wanted to do a $5 one. I said, well, I'll do it if y'all want to do it kind of deal, you know. And I said, so I put it on there. If somebody wanted to, if y'all want to do it to get on it, um, we're going to do a $5 one if we can get at least $200 in sales. So, uh, I already had one guy send like $40 through Cash App for it. Uh, Robert said he would do it if people were willing to do it. But if y'all are down, let me know so we can get her done. All right, hold on real quick. I was um, talking to Big Dan about uh, distance casting fishing rod. I am debating whether I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my rod from what I'm currently casting to something else. And the reason being because I feel I can do more. Like, I, I feel like I can put it out there. So, um, right now, we're at $40. And if y'all are on wanting to do the fire drawing today for five dollar buy-in then we'll do it I gotta see yes i am oh wow wow well okay that's earlier i was about to say hold on am i on the right one no i'm not i was about to say man there's 45 thumbs up but that was a video from earlier <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> it feels funny. Come on. Give me give me some. Give me some. It was funny. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. I don't know why. Again, it's trying to say I've blocked YouTube ads. I'm thumbs up number seven. And hold on. I'm having to refresh the page. I don't know why it's doing this. I'm not a computer guru on this, so. I don't know where it's telling me to go to. It says that I have the ad blocker blocked on here. And I'm like, I don't even know how I turned it on or whatever. So give me a second, guys. But today was a very busy day at the shop for sure. All right. All right, cool. Uh, Edgar, Tim, John. Let's see, Amy, what's up? Patrick, how y'all doing? We got Edgar, Curtis. <laughs> you were, yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, 
Yes, uh, you see, yeah, Tony from last night. That's, oh, yeah, and Billy from last night. Yeah, so that would put it up to $70 or $60 right there. Yeah, yeah so we, we can definitely do it tonight. Uh, oh, fish club for kids. Yes, there is a, I'm going to talk to Jen tomorrow when she will be on the channel. There's multiple things we're going to be talking about. So, yeah. I'm making a bottle. I'm about to cash that. All right. Okay. $5 buy-in, guys. We got to hit at least 200 to hold the drawing. So, um, <laughs> he's all plotting to Billy's demise. <laughs> <laughs> oh man y'all i gotta love it man i love it y'all y'all can have a good time with each other and that's what the channel's about guys y'all having fun getting to know each other and expanding our knowledge and stuff like that i did invite some new um customers that walked into the shop today that had no idea about us or what we were about they were just you know kind of poking their head in and seeing what you know we, our shop has to offer and it didn't take long for them to realize who we were, what we were about, and get really locked on to the fact that, you know, this is a place that would really benefit them and all the people that they do fish with and stuff like that. So I know for a lot of y'all that are new to the channel that were on here earlier and I started, you know, I got asked a question about a shark leader. And pretty sure he was not expecting all the information I gave him by a simple question about a leader or about line and stuff like that. So um, that's the way we are, guys. Like, if we're going to do something, we're going to do it right. We're going to give you every possible angle to look at it that we have dealt with or we have seen. And, yes, we are definitely definitely going to be working it and stuff like that. So since we're on that note, I'm going to go ahead and start filling out some tickets for the guys that have already put in. Before I get too far behind, because we got Billy for his late entry for yesterday. He did $20, so we're going to go and do that right now. Uh, $5 tonight. And here, here's another little one, too. Um, that's why it's extremely important, guys, that um, when you send money through the Cash App, I normally put what name he comes under the Cash App, because a lot of times it's different from what your avatar name is on the channel. And that actually is very important because today was a prime example. It has, this has never happened, but it happened. The winner was Alex, uh, uh, Alex Reyes. Well, on the cash app, I have an Alexander Reyes who also made a payment for a fishing rod. Two totally, totally different people. One has um, Uber Tuck Glass and then the other one has Big Bear Hauling. So, yeah, it was, but I was, I was writing their name on the paperwork, and I put their, their avatar name on there, so that way I knew who it turned out I was talking about. I'm so, so glad I did that, because the Alexes knew, you know, who won, who didn't win, and stuff like that. But I got confused on my end for about 10 seconds. And so I was going to double-check the tickets, and, like, I was I was like, hold on, there's something wrong here, and, 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 and I kind of scared... Uh, Alex earlier, I was like, I think it was the wrong Alex. And But when I looked at the paperwork, I had it correct. I had everything right. I just got lost in the sauce because I hadn't had my coffee this morning. So <laughs> it was it was pretty funny. But, yeah, we got it. Got it set up. So he's actually ordering himself an LX Raptor with braid. He's going to pay the difference on it. So that's something else for y'all. With this store credit, if, you know, you can use it for anything. So what they're doing is... Uh, $440 or whatever he won, he paid that toward a reel. And it, whatever the real amount was, all he had to do was pay the difference. So that was pretty cool. That's why we do what we do here. So I am setting this up for tonight's $5 fi fire drawing. And you know what, guys? I'm going to do this. I've got leaders there. One, two, three. I am going to be selecting another name. Okay, how about this? If we hit $500 with the $5 drawings, I'm going to select five more names to win leaders off of my uh, 
the deal I was talking about yesterday where I, all the leaders that I use during the fishing trip or whatever, I use maybe once if I'm upgrading or changing something or, you know, I catch a bunch of fish with it. I like to store them. So that way I, my thing is, you know, we all see these movies and we all, you know, man, that'd be a cool prop or something like that. Well, these will be actual leaders that I have fished with and I have caught. And I ain't going to say they're going to be 100%, but I just feel it's a great way for me to say thank you for all of y'all that watch the channel. Like I said, this is bonus. This is not part of the winnings. This is just stuff I'm going to throw in on top as a thank you for buying into the drawings. So if we get to 500, I will buy, I'll get five more winners onto, the, uh, onto that uh, giveaway as well. So I got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I hear that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Kyle, I got one extra ticket. If you can send that five dollars. If not, I will have to delete it off. Um, got you there. I got Kyle. And then I got Billy. I got more people coming in right now. So let me go ahead and write that on there. And also, too, um, if you on the cash app i have found how to work it if you if this is your first time buying in with through cash app please include your cell phone number because i can actually go through your profile and go back through and find where your cell phone number is in there and that way we can confirm it's the proper winner this is why i have these checks and balances on everything i do here especially with the winnings i would i i dread the day that I make the mistake and give the wrong winning to somebody, but um, I, I'm doing everything to make sure it is good to go, so uh, everybody's covered on it. I just was letting y'all know what I did today. <laughs> so, uh, Alright, so I got Oscar right there. I think there's a few more up on top. I'm just going to double check real quick, make sure I got them all on here. Yes. Okay. So right now, Oscar is the first super chat on the channel today. I've already acknowledged it right there. So, <clears throat> all right. So we've got Billy from yesterday, his $20 right there. I've got Kyle, who's got an extra ticket right now. So if he can send the $5, there's Kyle. He sent $40 through Cash App. And then we have. Angel with his 20 right there. Angel Lopez. And then we got Oscar Ayala with his two right there. And let me double check Cash App real quick. See where we're at. Ooh, Brandon. Brandon came with $50 worth of tickets. Ooh, wee. Nice. So I'm going to count these out before I get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, And the beautiful thing, too, I was just thinking about it right now. I was like, man, I have eaten through a lot of pins. But this also comes through from our subscriber that donated a whole bunch of pins to us <laughs> of the, the black magic markers that we used for the fishing lines when we were doing the solid braid. So we got that, and then we got John Darnell for the drawing for tonight. One, two, three, four.
All right, good deal. Got that. Let me acknowledge I got his right there. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so let me. There's Kyle for his five, so all of his tickets are good to go. All right, so Brandon. Okay, we left off with. <clears throat> so there's Oscar right there, and then we got Brandon right there. Those are all his tickets right there. He got 10 or $50 worth of tickets. So it should be 10 right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good to go. And then we got John, Don, John Darnell with his four right there. Got it. And then let's see. And I think we're caught up. Okay. There's Roger. What's up, Roger? How you doing, boss? <clears throat> All right, let me see if I'm at $100 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 100. All right. And I know we're not near it, so we're getting close. Getting close. So we got Roger. All right, guys, so earlier that y'all were on the live and I actually left the phone over there and I came over here and I uh, was checking out the customer. How did y'all like the fact that y'all could actually hear, hear me while I was checking them out and talking to them over here? This is the way it used to be where once I walked away from the camera, y'all couldn't really hear what was going on. Two, four. All right. <clears throat> There's Roger Garza right there. For his 20 and I got cash app open in front of me and waiting for it to update I don't have anything yet from you Edgar or is that for somebody else William I I've got the 60 from yesterday, but nothing for today. For you, William. Re rechecking it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, the bite. Uh, let me check the email. That one is pretty cool. Uh, See if it is in there. Oh, wrong email. There you go. Okay, those are screenshots. That's not for this right now. Ray, okay. Ray's been at work. Hey, good one. Leo, let's see if it's this. All right, so that's what the Stingray looks like, right? It's pretty big. However, he took a picture of the bite mark right there. So it goes from here all the way to the tail end over here. Excuse my nails, guys. I am working over here. So the way I was looking at it, and let me get something that's not going to be so crazy. All right. So right here where you see this bite come in, you can see kind of a little bit of a, um, a curvature pinch, but then it gets real nice and clean here, and then it gets jagged again. All right, so when we were looking at, and right here, look, uh, let me do this, right there. See that, that curve like that, where it looks like, it looks kind of like this. Look at the jaws up there, guys. Right at the top end, right? You see that? where it curves down on both sides. All right, so with that being said, while looking at the picture, I'm thinking that the shark, as the stingray was laying on the floor, 
the shark came and bit down on it like this and 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 took a bite off of it like that. So if you look at it, let's see, let's see if it does this way. Yeah. If you, you can see how he came up from on top and bit down on it. And that would explain such a wide gap because, you know, if you look, if you count from end to end, it's like 18 inches. However, that is a huge, huge shark to bite 18 inches. Something, it didn't look right to me. And so when I started to really look at it, to me, it looks like top end or top to bottom of the jaws. And so what I did, if, you, if I took a measuring stick from here to here and it's about 17 inches or this one, I think is actually bigger. It was like 19 inches. So on that thought process, that makes it a lot more uh, feasible that the shark picked it up like that and not bite it. Like if it was a steering area or something like this, it came up and bit it like that. But if it did, it would be a whole different kind of bite pattern on it. And a lot of this comes from having a lot of our baits. Actually, when the shark comes in, the bait's still there. So we can actually, like, put it in front of the shark and see how the shark picked up the bait and got hooked. That's how we learned how to be able to set our hooks better on our baits and to be able to catch more sharks. And that's why, for a long time, you know... When we went, we went shark fishing, we went shark fishing. We would catch and catch and catch. So it was very, very cool to to learn all of that. And yeah, that was that's that's an awesome bite though. That's a big. That's every bit of a you know eleven, eleven and a half foot tiger shark that came up and bit that bait. Because the jaws you see up there are from a twelve foot three. So yep, yep. All right. All right, dirt bike, you have a good night, boss. We'll see, we'll see you later. Uh, find you a build, a crayon kit. Oh, man. All this teasing, well, I'll believe it when I see it. You know what I mean? Uh, see how long I had to wait for my crayons to get here. It was forever, so. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. There it goes. Got that. Yep. Look, Ray, Ray put in some work. That was a lot of his deals right there. And I got uh, William as well. And, yeah, let me check Cash App real quick. See what's going on there. Uh, there you go. William for $60 right there. Just came through. And Edgar for 5 Got it. So, one, ten. guys let's see uh yes we have passed the 200 we are over it by i don't know how much let me see um what's up morris how you doing <laughs> one two three well hold on real quick before i do that it's tight uh tear them up there's edgar's right there and then William, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 tickets for William right there. All right. So, all right, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. 
So we're at about two hundred and forty dollars. It looks like we're at two hundred and forty dollars for tonight's five dollar fire drawing. Yes. And let me see what we're at over here. Got any more coming through? Let's <laughs> see. What did I miss? <laughs> Yeah, one year we see pull that you gotta see. <laughs> Damn it, William. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Again, guys, the more work y'all put in, the more it's gonna help us get to where we want to get faster. As well as two more sponsors of William to come in and help us out. I'm actually talking to a new sponsor that um I'm waiting on a reply. They already said they are very interested in working with us, but I did let them know what we have to offer and what we're looking for to kind of do and go from there. So William got another $40 worth of tickets right there. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And what I'm going to do real quick before I fill them all in. <clears throat> so we already counted those. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 right there. So 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So two more tickets will put us at $300 right there. Again. There we go. So, oh, there's David Bassan in there. So he's got thirty-five dollars. So it'll be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh, shit! <laughs> thirty-five. David Bassan. David, I got an extra ticket with your own name on it. <laughs> Uh, all right, so got that. Uh, let's see. Hard life. Yes, sir. You said Curtis, Amy, okay, for life. All right. All right, gotcha, boss. All right. Yes, sir. Later. All right. Oh, okay. Ten for Amy, five for him. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for Amy. Curtis, one, two, three, four, five. Billy, four life. Edgar. All right. <laughs> it's a long. That's a long one right there. Uh 
Oh, this is funny. I'm just wondering what are y'all thoughts while I'm sitting here, like writing all these names down. Just, just <laughs> oh man, let's see. There you go. Yes, sir. All right. So, let's see. Hold on. All right, guys, so we've got some, ooh, Uber, what's up, man? I was kind of telling them about our, our, our story earlier on it and stuff like that. And there's John Darnell's, <laughs> yeah, crazy $5 drawing, yep, hey, it's going. Let's see. All right, there you go. All right, so let me confirm. Oops, John's, ah, uh, got it, okay. All right, so there's John, uh, John Darnell's four tickets. And then I've got Edgar, the two for four life, two for Billy, the five for Curtis, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for Amy. And then the two that Four Life got earlier, one for Amy, one for Curtis. And then I've got David Bassan, and it's that's 20, 25, 30, $35 worth of tickets right there that he sent through Cash App. And then we got William, and those are all the ones that I already counted earlier. Uh, for his, because he got forty dollars and sixty dollars worth of tickets. So, yes. All right. Now, David. Okay, respond. So, actually, I owe David one ticket because I did. I didn't want to get confused and lose it, so I wrote over the ticket here. It was going to be there, but it. I'll add it in right here at the end. Hey, that might be the lucky one. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, got it. Let's see. Slide, got that. And then we've got Alexander. Alex Reyes. He's got $25 worth. There we go. All right. Whoa, what happened here? What did I do? Uh, there it is. Did I do that right? There it is. Okay. I did something on my computer and I couldn't see anything. So, uh, John Darnell was the last four right there. And then we got David Bassan at $5 one right there. And then Alex got your $25 right there. There we go. All right. Let's see. <laughs> One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. So we're at three hundred right there. One, two, three. Then. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That is 400. 
we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and DFM just put in $5 for this, and hopefully DFM, oh, more is six, okay, um, DFM, all right. All right, Morris, I got yours. So that one, that makes another 100, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, that means I'm going to choose five extra guys or five extra tickets for winnings today. We're at $500 right there. What? Awesome. So I just got text from Jacked Up Leatherworks. He said he'll be on here in a few minutes. Once he gets on the channel, we'll give it about 10 to 20 more minutes on sales tickets. If they slow down, if they slow down, we'll be to 15, 10 to 15 more minutes. And then, but if they don't, We'll keep going. Like, I'm game. Like, y'all, y'all are y'all are making it, making me work. Put me to work, guys. Wear out this hand. Let's see if y'all can wear out this hand. <laughs> or the pin. One of the two. If the pin or the marker goes, then I think we can get another marker. <laughs> oh man. So <clears throat> yeah, let's see. I hadn't even set the drawing time. I just thought of it right now that I was like, man, I ain't even set that time yet, but I am waiting for Jacob to get back onto the channel. So, like I said, we can keep selling the tickets until y'all are ready or he's ready, and then we'll go. Um, whoa. Missing four life? For what? What? <laughs> Billy, you haven't heard them all, man. We we just found out, so I guarantee we can come up with some good ones. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so Four Life had his two plus one for Curtis and one for Amy. That is where's that at? They were side by side. Second. David. Yep. There's two for four life right here. Amy and Curtis. Curtis, Amy, and two for that. Yes, I got those right there. And with Curtis, I put a C on it. They're right there. I know because there's a C on there because he also gave Billy and uh, Edgar right there, too. Yep, they're in there. I got y'all. I got y'all. Y'all y'all trying y'all trying to wear out the hand, but, you know, just saying, y'all know these are working man's hands. Like, <laughs> I backed it up. Had extra. Yeah, no doubt. Let's see. Oh, she plays with them, you know. Batter up. <laughs> oh, man. So we're at $500, guys. And wow, for a $5 drawing. I got enough. For, I, I'll make room on that, that countertop for sure. So <laughs> she said I do. <laughs> Uh, all right, Walter. Yep. Now I'm making leaders, but everybody wanted to get in on a five dollar drawing, so I am not not saying no. But I am working with. Yeah, these are beautiful colors for sure. So, yep. So that's that's a semi chartreuse one right there. This one's got more of a pearl color. See the greenish hue to it. 
And I've got a huge inventory that came in. These are the pearls. There's two per pack. So all of that there. And all the chartreuse right here. More. And actually, I unbagged a bunch of them the last time I was doing this. And I ran out of product, so I got to get those in there, too. So, yep, yep. What's up, Luciano? We are at $500 for tonight's $5 fire drawing. We're at $500 already. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, Rich Lawyer, I don't, I don't know on that one. Patrick, let's see. Yeah. Hey, actually, Billy, if you like bucktail jigs and stuff like that, I got a ton of different colors of uh, feathers in the back. A lot of them. And I wanted to actually start making big bucktails with them. We have a bunch of the product in the back. I just haven't got. I need to get me one of them jigs so I can, you know, hold the hook while I do this number kind of deal. It's coming. It's coming. So, yeah. About a week or two. What color do you have on 80? 80, I have chartreuse, white, red. Actually, I just ran out of red today. So, I got chartreuse, white, and orange. But I can have pretty much any other color that you want. I'm just buying, you know, a couple of rolls every week to try to build our inventory back up because we've got to bring in Cortland. We're bringing in Tightline. Those are the only two braid companies that I trust right now. Uh, we are going to be talking with Fins here real soon because we are going to get a lot of their braid to be putting through the spool and library too because they're also made here in America. But again, too, I mean, I know they're big. They've been around, but they haven't gone through our testing. So that is coming. So stay tuned for that. We will be discussing a lot of what's going on or what's going to be happening uh, with everything with the braid, uh, new sponsors and stuff like that. So every day, stay tuned, guys. It is getting hot and heavy up in here, and we're ready. Whiskey, what's up, boss? How you doing? <clears throat> Today is a $5 fire drawing, and we're already at $500. We're already at $500 for tonight's fire drawing. So, there you go. There's the four for whiskey. Got it. Oh, he went. He doubled up. Okay. So, that takes us up to $400 or $540. There we go. Nice. Yes. Yes, and yes. All right, there we go. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for whiskey right there. There you go. So that's $45 right there. Yes, sir. Keep those thumbs up rolling, guys, because that's what helps YouTube to determine that if our, sh our channel is a definitely a channel that they want to promote and stuff like that so it does help you yep. so um what are you talking about ktm you sent a picture or am i, am I missing something here so yeah i see 48 people on the live and we are doing a fire drawing tonight <laughs> Uh, jump up. This is a jump up fire drawing for five dollars. We're at five hundred and forty five dollars uh, for the amount for the in-store credit on it. Winner take all. And also, too, there's going to be a bonus of five extra tickets getting drawn after the main one for uh, leaders that I have used while I was out fishing and tearing up the fish. And so I started bagging them up so that way I can send them out to everybody so they can see the actual leader that I was using in video. So, like, granted, I don't know which exact video because it was, you know, multiple times that I had leaders on there for, you know, two or three weeks of video just smashing on the fish. But anytime I took off a leader, I didn't throw it away. I bagged it up and I started storing it. So I've got like 
probably a good 40 or 50 liters there that I'm going to start mailing out to people uh, as a thank you, you know, just so y'all can see, hey, man, I, I remember this later when, you know, he, he tore up, you know, X amount of drum or whatever, because you'll be able to tell when you watch the video, because a lot of the leaders got beat up a certain way or anything like that, and you know they hold fish. <laughs> it's been done, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Try to pull in a shark in by mono and cut my hands all up. Ouch, that sucks. Uh, there you go, yeah. Well, I would, I would definitely need to learn. I've never built any kind of fly or jig head with the deal, but it, it's eaten at me to do something like that because I have the ability to pour the jig head, one. Two, I have all that product sitting in the back to make all this kind of stuff. And three, I don't know, it just, it's, I guess it's the artist in me for sure. So, yep, yep. Roger, are you leaving? You leaving? Later, Roger. Oh, man. But yeah, we're at $545 on tonight's fire drawing. I'm waiting on Jacob to get in here. As soon as he can get in here, we'll give it about 10 to 15 more minutes on the drawing, and then we'll move over to get uh, Bobby the Bobber to work because he needs to get to work too. So y'all can still purchase tickets. Y'all were, were trying to wear my hand out. <laughs> that that I'm telling you guys, like y'all know I work. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> Alex last night, like when he called this morning, he, you know, he he was thinking I was gonna sleep in or something like that. Nope. Nope, nope. He learned real quick. I'm at it. And granted I wasn't fully awake this morning, but we got we got it straightened out. So it was good. Um actually I texted him. I'm waiting on a response because they're actually supposed to be in this week. Well, today's already Wednesday, so I'm waiting on it. But, yes, yeah, so it is coming. Oops. Yeah, more than likely, Jacob got fired for sure. <laughs> Especially after having to take Daniel to the doctor. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty sure he got fired pretty hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, whoa, William. Big cash app just came through, guys. Hold on. No, no. Already, already. All right. Oh, that's awesome. That'll be cool. Taking with an old school camera like that, that, that is, that, I'm pretty excited. I want to see what it looks like. That'll be sweet. All right. So William just came in with a hundred dollars. So we're now we're at $645 for tonight's fire drawing guys. One, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Yeah, he, he's, he's going for that, that wore out hand right there. <laughs> I should have busted out a brand new marker, but we'll see if we can run this one out. I'm game. <laughs> I don't know, guys, but that that camel reel earlier was pretty awesome. Uh, that. I'm, I'm so glad I went live to, to share it with y'all because um, it really does give 
everybody a chance to admire what we get to admire here at the shop. Because I don't care whose tackle it is. Fishing tackle is fishing tackle. I mean, it, it may not be the best on the market or it may not be the prettiest, but it, it can definitely hold some some value for a sight. You know, it's like looking at art, you know, for me, it, whether it's old school, new school, like, I'm, I'm always, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always window shopping kind of deal. So it's, it's nice. It's nice. But being able to put our hands on it and, you know, play with it, whether we're spooling or, you know, just talking about it on the channel is, it's pretty awesome. So I do, I really do appreciate, you know, him bringing it to us, especially after the long drive. Like he could have just said, you know what, screw it. I'm just trying to get to get to where he was going and he could have bypassed us entirely so i'm totally humbled by the amount of effort he did that and again and then sharing the pictures with us on that that big stingray man that's a huge bite without a doubt that's a huge bite so yeah um what are my thoughts on fish bites and what flavors are used when tipping them yes and yes okay um i love the flavors that are multiple colors like the flesh pink the power lime, the electric chicken, the blue and white crab, the uh, there's a periwinkle color, there's sand flea. Any of those double colors are my go-to for any of them. I love it. Uh, well, there's Jaime right there for four. So, um, yeah, and, and it's with the shrimp and crab. Like, you'll have shrimp, power lime, shrimp, flesh pink, shrimp, electric chicken, and then you have crab power line, crab electric chicken, crab flesh pink. Then you now you also have the blue and the white crab. So any of those double colors like that, whether it's shrimp, uh, crab, there's clam, there's uh, uh, actually I think those are, oh sand flea is another one. Those are the ones that really I, I go for. So uh, there's Jaime Sanchez. And he's got four of them. All right, got that right there. Boom. Uh, I know it's said to go to Chump off the Pier and Beach. I always heard Chump. Actually, here in Texas, it's not illegal to Chum. So there's uh, Jaime Sanchez for his four. And then William, there's two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Right? And then the rest are whiskeys. He got his nine right there. Yep. Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And oop, we're almost there, about six more to get to the next hundred. There we go. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. We're at six hundred and hold on, let me keep in track over here. So uh, 605, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 665 dollars so far. What, what? Man, oh, David got in there for 10 more, 10 more dollars. So that uh, takes us uh, 675. Got it. Uh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm, I'm missing on some. Let's see. Why is there a... That was something during the live video feed earlier. Um, Robert was in here for live, and he was like, man, he thought we should do a, a drawing today. I want to win that deal over there in the corner. 
and it's an aluminum shark or aluminum rack for the beach. And he's like, I thought you got rid of us. And he goes, Let's see if you if we could do a five dollar one. I said, I'll do it if you know people are wanting to do it. And so when I was talking about it, I said, so if y'all are interested, send some cash app through so that way I can kind of give it, get where we're at, you know, gauge it. You know, I don't want to do them if y'all aren't going to have fun or do them with us. You know what I mean? If me trying to start one and trying to sell tickets and nobody wants to buy in, I don't want to push it. But it is going berserk tonight. So that's <laughs> that's why we did it. We stopped. So, you know, y'all can thank for life and we're at 400 and oh, <laughs> so we can title. I was say no, we're at 475. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. We're at 675 dollars. So make it eight days in Thailand. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Never been there, never been there, but it is definitely one of the places that I do want to go just for the culture for sure, for sure. So 10, 20, 30, five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're almost to seven hundred dollars. What? What what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's see. Yep, we were talking about that earlier, just of, of the lifestyle that we had, you know, growing up and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's so totally different now, like. <laughs> it probably is, yeah. On the low. <laughs> this is one of my shark fishing shirts from our team. We actually got three different colors of the scale wear, so. Yes, definitely, definitely blocks a lot of sun. As you can tell, I don't, <laughs> I haven't gotten any tan on my arms in a minute. But again, too, that's because I haven't been out on the kayak. So I got to go drop some shark baits off for sure. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. We're actually... I want to see that inner hot pink right about here. I want to make that a little more prevalent through the rest of the shirt. And then also, too, with our chartreuse ones, the mahi-mahi color, I want it to be a lot more of that bright chartreuse in the coloring and stuff like that. So our next batch of shirts is coming in, and it's going to be a lot, lot brighter in the color combinations like that. So stay tuned for that. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. I saw a comedian talking about that. Uh, uh, what was it? What did he, Oh, that Playboy is now a really woke now. And they're like, well, how do you know? And he's like, oh, yeah, because one of the models was uh, 24. How did he say? 36, 24, 36, 6. <laughs> I sat there. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody in the audience is comedian. She's like, what does that mean? He goes, it was a him. <laughs> that was his measurement. She goes, what? Like, she didn't get it. And everybody was just, yeah, everybody got it in the audience except for her. So, yeah. All right. I don't know if it's true. The comedian was saying that. So don't, don't quote me, guys, because I ain't saying... <laughs> all right so angel just came through with 15 more dollars so that takes us up 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 we're at 690 dollars what 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 yes make sure i'm good to go there's my my uh skirt there Got that. And I'm still building leaders while I'm doing this. Just make sure I'm on the right side, too. Nope, I did. Okay. There we go. For the copper heads, I'm going to go and send it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Steve. It, it is actually, it's been worked all day. I haven't, I haven't given it a brush, but yeah, let's see. I know I have my brush up here somewhere, but in and out, spooling reels, making liters, breaking weights, you know, doing my normal work thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man! Uh, we're we're gonna go definitely go back to that movie of uh, uh, Hangover. <laughs> oh, that that movie was insane. <laughs> it really was. So. Uh. I just made 300 for my pals are drunk. Nice. Cool deal. Oh, that was one of the cool things about earlier, too. Um, a gentleman that walked in and was, you know, talking about fishing, and he had questions about habits. And so, you know, I started ask, answering his questions and stuff, and he still was, like, on the fence. I said, well, how about this? Let's do a demonstration. So I put the rod and reel in his hand, and, we put it into low gear and all of that. And then, you know, I was telling them about how I like to take my kids fishing and get them on the big fish and how the reels have helped them be able to land fish that would have normally not been able to be landed by them comfortably. And, you know, he goes, man, that's what it's all about. It's about getting the kids fishing. So when he said that, I, I, I felt compelled that I had to give him some. So I went and got one of the koozies that say, take a kid fishing. So I hooked him up with one of those koozies and he read it. He goes, man, that's so awesome. I said, yes, that's what we're about. So it, today was a very, very humbling day all the way around. You know, um, got to see a lot of how the information on the channel is going around and helping people and really getting, getting it going for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> William just well let's see let's see Edgar came in right there give me a second let's see still wrapping these up <laughs> Jesus <laughs> uh Yep, yep. Let's see. Wow. Dang it. That is nice. All right. Here, give me a second. Let me back this up and get where our count is on the tickets and stuff. Yeah, William, you definitely took it up there for sure. What? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh y'all are too y'all are too much sometimes. Edgar for four life. Edgar. We got ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. We're at 95 right there. Got that. Let me see. Um, well, when it comes through, it'll put us at $705 for tonight's fire drawing, guys. So, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Well, that's good, man. I know a lot of people have been saying they've been getting taken out by some of these allergies and flu seasons and stuff like that, too. It's been been pretty crazy, that's for sure. So, um, 
because today ain't our normal fire drawing night. And so Robert earlier was in the shop during our live, was talking about that if we wanted to do a $5 drawing. I said, I'm game if y'all are. So the money started rolling in. I was like, okay, everybody's game. So now we're at $705 right now. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> store credit, yes. Yeah, it's for store credit, guys. So you can use it for anything. The last gentleman that won $440 uh, the other day turned it into a down payment for an LX Raptor, and he only had to pay the difference uh, for the line to get it spooled up. And then once it comes in, we'll find out where he's at, whether we're going to have to ship it or if he's going to come down and come fishing. So... We're hoping he comes down and comes fishing because that would be a bonus, you know. Get get a new reel and then get to go fishing with it is awesome. So let's see. Nope, not yet. Still hasn't come through, but it's coming. <laughs> oh wow. Change the drag washer on your SX Gen 1, never been changed. The, the only reason to change out the drag washer is if you're not getting any kind of drag on it. If you're still getting good drag, you're still stopping fish, then I really wouldn't worry too much about it, boss, to tell you the truth. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, it, that happens. Uh, Especially if it's something that you're not normally in, in buying and stuff like that. Our fire drawings are definitely new to your bank account, so it's probably making sure that it is in a fraudulent uh, deal going through. That has happened to all of us, so don't feel bad, guys. So we're still at $695 for tonight's fire drawing. And again, too, we're going to give it till Jacob can get on the channel. And maybe 10 to 15 minutes after that or 20 if we're still selling a lot of tickets, we'll keep it going. But if it starts to slow down and peter out, we'll go ahead and call it and get her out there and get her done. So y'all got some time to get in, but it's up there. Seven or six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Right? Yeah, six ninety-five. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a... Dang, that sucks, yeah. Especially when the hooks, you know, are the ones to go, that, yeah, that, that hurts. Uh... Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Yes, sir. Mm. There's Jaime, Doty, Big Bear Holland. All right, all right. Yeah, y'all definitely not not letting it die out tonight. Not yet. It's coming. Let me tie up this hook, and then I will go back to the cash app real quick. But yes, all three of them just came through. That should put us over seven hundred dollars right there. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, if it feels a little bit loose, then it would be time to change it. But I would highly, highly recommend sending it back to Abbott, John. Uh, the reason for that is if you don't do the work yourself, it's really going to cost you a lot more to take it to a tackle shop to have them work on it. Uh, I highly recommend, even for us, when Abbott Reels come to us, I send them back to Abbott, and it's a lot cheaper for the customer for overall. So... There's Jaime Sanchez. I got yours. Got it. And 
Now we're up to William. Got it. Got that. And then for CJ. Two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four. Got them. Let's see. Uh, Billy, if you put them in pantyhose, that will increase your time big time when you use those style of baits just because their skin is so soft, they get eaten through really quick. But if you put them in a pantyhose, it really does help out. All right. So, did Angel. Edgar bought one for four life right there. And then there's the four for Jaime. And then we've got the $5 one for William. And then Big Bear hauling for CJ right there. Yes, sir. So that will put us at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that's 800, right? Or is it 700? 700? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, 700. Or $700 on just that. And we are. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 745 dollars, guys. We're at 745. What? What? So what I'm hearing out of that conversation was Billy didn't want to cut his pantyhose because he said, man, that was quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just your, your, um, your cell phone number because that's how I'm going to call it out. I, I use your avatar name or that or your avatar name on there, but I need a cell phone or your avatar name from the channel in the note. That way I can confirm who it is. Cause like I said, I already ran into our first deal where I've got, um, two Alex Reyes's, but they're under their avatar name on the cash app is how I was able to confirm who is who. So yes, that way there's no confusion. I go straight to that and that's what the tickets are for. So, <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there you go. What? Look at that. Four life is going to make it eleven hundred dollars if we can get to a thousand dollars, and at this rate, I don't see why we can't get there. Like that would be awesome. So, and I'll make it even sweeter. We get to a thousand. I'll draw ten names after we, because obviously the first name is always the name for the winner. First name is the name for the winner of whatever we sell in the tickets. After that, I'll draw ten more names for, you know, the the leaders that I have from the team and stuff like that. So yeah, that that is only two hundred and what, ten, twenty, thirty, forty five. That's $255 away right there, guys. So that actually would turn into $355 right there. What? 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 Mm. 
Ivan, depending on your vehicle, what you have in your truck and stuff like that, if you're rolling real light, it shouldn't cost you more than a tank to get up there and a tank to get back. However, I always recommend to take at least two five-gallon tanks of fuel with you, especially if you're in a gas vehicle. If you're in a diesel, you should be okay, but don't quote me on that. Now, if you got gear and and all kinds of stuff like that, uh, yeah, I would take three three tanks of uh, three five-gallon tanks of fuel just in case, because depending on when the tide comes up, you may be running in some really bad fluff, and then now, especially they're being a lot tighter on the 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 mileage that you can go and stuff like that. A lot of people end up running out of gas trying to get off the beach. So definitely take extra grass, take extra water, um, yeah, and an extra belt, and probably something to air up a you know a tire or a flat and something like that, a fix a flat, just to make sure you can get off the beach and stuff like that. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> gas. Extra gas. Not grass. Gas. <laughs> uh, right, right. So, all right. Man. <laughs> all right. Beto just came in with $50 for tonight's drawing. I think that's going to put us at $800, $10, $20, $30, well, $45. We'll be $5 short of $800. So $5, $10, $15, $20, $25, $30, $35, $40. Fifty. There we go. Got it. So that puts us up to seven hundred and ninety five dollars. I know for a five dollar drawing tonight. What's up, Jacob? You, I don't know if you've been following along at all, but it is going crazy here on the channel, man. What are we doing? Started a, a $5 fire drawing. We're $5 short of $800 right now. <laughs> the bonus, there's a, there's two bonuses happening, right? I, I said at the very beginning, if we go over $500, I'll choose five extra winners. For leaders that come out of the Team Hard Life bag from when I go fishing and like when I change out a leader, I don't throw it away. I always bag it and save it. Yeah. So I'm going to start post selling those out to winners. Uh, but now for life has said, if we go over a thousand dollars, he'll throw in an extra hundred dollars on top. And then what I also did was add it another, if we go to, to a thousand, I'll do an extra five more people. For winners, so that'll be 10 people plus the winner. That's 11 people that will win tonight. So, yeah. Awesome. So there, there's Beto right there for his five. And 10 right there. Nice. So that puts it at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. And Hyman just put in the five dollars to make that a hundred. What, 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 what? So oh, that man. puts us at eight. That's eight hundred dollars right there. <sighs> yep. So, how's your day going, boss? Everybody figured that Daniel fired you since you hadn't been able to get on the channel yet. <laughs> <laughs> No, because if that happened, I'd never be allowed on the camera. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 dollars. What? <laughs> Holy smokes. All right. All right. Okay. Y'all definitely got our attention. 
Hey, Ray, so, give it till tomorrow. Think, What's that? I sent him a package of stickers. And it says it was delivered today. But sometimes they'll they'll mark delivered, but they'll end up delivering it the next day. That or it went to the wrong house. And well, they'll have to. Box. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> human error. They could have been like me. They didn't have their coffee today, you know. There you go. So we're at eight hundred and five dollars, guys. We're one hundred ninety-five dollars away from a thousand dollars, which means five extra winners on top of the five that we're already choosing, and then an extra hundred dollars on top of that. No, stop! Hey, hey! <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Only I can yawn. You got all that coffee, bro. You got no excuse. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm old. <laughs> and it's 11 o'clock. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I keep forgetting we're, 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 you're old. <laughs> you know, you're only a couple of years behind me. I am. I'm, I'm rocking it though. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Hold on just a second, guys. Hard life. Yes, sir. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Let me see if I misread that. Uh. Let me see. Hold on. Go on back. We get to it. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I read that wrong. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have to break it. Break, break the hard news to them. <laughs> All right. Well, later. <laughs> All right, guys. So obviously, YouTube does not have pictures up there for me to fully understand when somebody posts up something. So what uh, Four Life actually put on there is, we get to a hundred dollars or get to a thousand. Albert will throw in an extra hundred dollars to put the icing on the cake. Albert, and he was clear in his thought, but I did not read that. <laughs> I thought he said he was going to do it. So that is on me. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. I see everybody, everybody fixing that. Yep. So, <laughs> well, let's see what I can do to. I got, I got something that I can do to, to help out with that for sure. We get to a thousand dollars. I still will do the the ten 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 people to to get prizes from the leaders, and then I think I've got some big old window stickers that I'll throw in on top. Yeah, and I'm talking big window stickers. Hold on, I'll show y'all real quick. Let me grab. Them. Uh, I don't hear her. Sorry? We don't hear her. Were they talking to each other? Yeah. Hey, John. Been busy. <laughs> They're big guys. Like these, these are big window stickers. These are the ones that what I normally do is I cut it this way, and then I put the team hard life like that with the shark in the middle on YouTube, across the the brow of the the window on yeah. the front and on the back of my truck. So I've got three of them. I got a hot pink. I got chartreuse, and I got a black. 
So we get to a thousand. I will throw in these. These are these are about forty dollars a pop. So yeah. Well, um, Robert said that uh, he's got the hundred. Oh, he does. Yep. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, Jaime says that the ticket that he got was for his sister, Jeannie. Yes, yes, I put okay. that on there. Okay. Yep. yep, yep, I saw that, so, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right, William? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Let me, let me... It is one of the last ones. Yeah. Jeannie right yeah. there. But I put Jaime Sanchez on there because I got to know who I got to confirm with. If I just put Jeannie on it by itself and I have a brain fart and I don't know who Jeannie is, <laughs> you know, this is, this is my safe way. <laughs> We are at eight hundred and five dollars right now, guys. We're at eight hundred and five dollars for the drawing. And now that Jacob is on the channel, we have 15, 14 more minutes. I told him that when you came on, we would give it another fifteen to twenty minutes. So time time to turn and burn. <laughs> oh sure, blame it on me. <laughs> No, it wasn't blaming on you. I just, I started the drawing and we were going and going and going. And then I realized we hadn't set a time. <laughs> I said, oh. well, how about this? You know, once, once Jacob gets on the channel, then, then I'll set the timer at 20 minutes or whatever, you know? So that's, that's what we did. So it worked out. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, did I miss something there? <laughs> no. What's up, Mike? How you doing? We are doing a $5 fire drawing tonight. It's a pop-up drawing. We didn't expect to do one, but people wanted another drawing, so we got it started at $5. We're at $805 is the current uh, amount for the drawing. We've got an extra five winners because we passed 500 However, if we go to 1000 come here. we're going to have an extra five winners get chosen. And we got an extra $100 on top. And now I'm definitely going to still throw in the stickers because I misread a comment about it. So I'm still going to throw in the stickers. She said you. Yeah. She was kidnapped on her voicemail. She said Come you. here. She recognized yeah. him. Wow. 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 Yep. Yep. So I did make. Hi, hey, hey, Daniel, how you doing? She's unstable, but she's the Goodbye. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's your gun at? Yeah. Where's your gun? Uh, well, go get it. Let's see it. Show me, show me your gun again. You want to go use your gun? He's, he's, he's giving me the look like, don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving that, that look is straight up on his face like, you really want to see it? I got you. I got you. <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Ah, I see you. I see you're falling after daddy. You got the beard growing. I just noticed that. What? Dang. Yeah, he's gonna have got to get him goatee. Get him. The what? He's got a little goatee going. Yeah. Oh, gonna get him into the competitions later on. <laughs> uh, I thought about taking him to the uh, <clears throat> the MLA City here in uh, June. They have a category uh -huh. for um, kids, basically. Nice. So, yeah. that'll be cool. Yeah, it's yeah. in the goatee category. That's nice. That's real nice. Daniel. 
Daniel. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. 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 You can fire. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Oh man. So we are at red dot in the background. Uh, you buy me a ticket for the drawing. <laughs> Let's see. No, don't see. Ah, it's good. Ah, ah, Mike, there you go. Woo ah, it up ah, right there. there we go. So that will be $855 ah, right there. Awesome. Ah! Let's see, Mike. Uh, I'm gonna put just bowed up. Uh, <laughs> uh, you okay? Whoop. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Uh. <laughs> You going to bed? Ah. Okay. <laughs> when you going to bed? Ah. Turkey? Ah. I'll box your ears off. Ah. <laughs> Can you say All right, so for Bodo, ah. I went ahead. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, what's up? Bye, Daniel. Nah. <laughs> All right. There you go. And that's also uh, Noventos <laughs> ticket right there. He got one ticket right there. Ah. And okay, he's at good night. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Did I miss one here? Hold on, real quick. Down your room. Last one I see was no. Whoa. Okay. So for Beto. All right. Hey. There we go. Okay. So I got it. I got it. It just I got thrown off there for a second. Okay. And then Carl Moon is on here. Yeah. He's sent in. Yeah. That's gonna yeah. put us another twenty right there. There's Jaime for three for him. Three for... He says one for Daniel. Oh nice. <laughs> Danielle, check the. Well, thank you, Jaime. There we go. And we got Carl Moon. Let's see. My bad, my bad. And this roll is going quick. Look at that. All right. So I got Jaime on there. Got that. Got Carl over here. Got that. All right. So there's the four for Carl. Oh, right there. Yeah. Four for Carl. One, two, three, four. And then we've got Daniel, Jaime, 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 and Jaime. And then we have the boat up fishing right there. One, two. Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For fifty dollars right there. And that puts us at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're five dollars away from nine hundred dollars, guys. Five dollars away from nine hundred. Oh, check cash app. Uh, let me check cash app. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. 
Waiting on it. Waiting on it. There's there Darnell for 20. All right. There's John Darnell. What? All right. And then Carl Moon. All right, so he did that. That made the 100 right there. <laughs> I can tear it real quick. So, Carl Moon got two of them right there back to back. Or all of those are actually Carl Moons right there. So, we have a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's another 100 right there. So, that takes us up to $900. Ooh, everybody that that lit it up a bunch of them are coming through so we got john darnell okay i have a question for you real quick shoot how in the world did billy become a blue ranch um that was actually today because a lot of the work that Billy has been doing here at the shop, helping us out um, anytime we had electrical problems and or uh, <laughs> lighting problems, he's actually came in and broke weight and chopped weight over here with us and then he also made a donation of a fossil that went to another uh, one of our subscriber winners and stuff and then um, he's also been on the channel when it's real late normally when it's just um, uh Curtis, you know, alone as a blue wrencher and still trying to get up, but he stays on just to make sure I have some support on the channel on it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead and voted Billy in today to get him as a blue wrencher and stuff. So, definitely, he's definitely earned it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, just a I was little, just trying to give him crap. <laughs> and, so, uh, I was just trying to give him crap. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but you see, he's the type that will, you know, you'll give him crap and he'll ask for more. Yeah. <laughs> so he fits right in with all of us, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Brandon, that's 25. You got that. So. Next one, um, Alex Reyes, got that. And then David Bassan for 10. William, I'm about, about up to 5'9", five, or 5'10". Five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We're $40 away. Oh, okay, twenty dollars away. <laughs> yeah. We are twenty dollars away from a thousand dollars. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. We are twenty dollars away from a thousand dollars. What? Y'all are insane. We're right at home, though. <laughs> we are right at home. So, yeah, yeah. All right. I lost track of time. Where are we? We've got, what, two minutes? Is that, is that where I think I set the time at? Oh, Let me finish this later. <laughs> I'm going to finish the leader over here. Oh. Kyle just came in with seventy dollars. Thanks, William. And William just came in with another twenty. Roger just came in with another twenty. Roger, 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 Roger. And then we got William. It's a good movie, William.
Acknowledge this. I got Roger on there. I got William on here. Got that. And now Kyle, you've got seventy dollars worth. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 55, 60, 65, 70 dollars right there. Nice, Mike. Definitely get some pictures if you can. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I made it to Tech City for some late night fishing. Look. Awesome. Yeah, good luck out there, boat up. All right, so let me count because I know we're into another hundred. So 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Oh, hold on. Let me show the names first. Um, so Brandon right there, or boat up. Yeah, that's Brandon. That's Brandon for five tickets. And then we've got Alex Reyes for his ticket right there. We have David Bassan. He's got two more tickets right there. Then we got Roger with his two and another two. And then actually, hold on. It should be four. Yeah. So I owe you, I owe you four more tickets, Roger. Hold on, I just caught that. It was twenty and twenty. Yeah. Roger. Roger. All right, got it. Done. Okay. All right. So there's the first twenty, Roger, right there. And then we've got William for his next twenty, right there. And then we have Kyle, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. And then Roger's next 20 right there. So that puts us at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And there's another 100. Yep. So, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hundred dollars. At eleven hundred and ten. Did you get Dar Darnell? What? Which Darnell? Super chat. Right before Roger. No, I. Mm, I don't think I did because I didn't. Um, I didn't put on there. So. Let's see. All right. So, um, John. All right. Let me acknowledge that one. Yep. Okay. Scan up and read. Uh, Robert's message. All right. One ticket for Edgar. Ed, well, okay. Can you read them to me, Edgar? Mm -hmm. Edgar, Darnell, Heather, Curtis. Okay. Curtis. Amy. Okay. Billy. All right. Me. All right. 
Roger. Mm -hmm. Jaime. All right. Brandon. M. All right. And Carl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven right there. He said the rest go to him. Hey, Mama, I can get that. For that hundred. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm forgetting that they're five dollar tickets. <laughs> All right, so hold on real quick. So that four, I'm going to put a four on those so that way we know who got them. Four, four. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. What, what? All right, here we go. So we got Rogers two right there from the other four. Got John Darnell and his four right there. Then we have Edgar. Then uh, Darnell, Heather, Curtis, Amy, Billy, uh, Jack the Blitterworks, Roger, Jaime, Brandon, and Carl. Call the moon. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Is that right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred dollars right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that takes us up to twelve hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hundred dollars for tonight's fire drawing, guys. What? Bang. All right. Man, this thing is almost as heavy as this thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so we're at twelve hundred and twenty no twelve hundred and thirty dollars right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving over to the next bench. Cause we we accomplished the goal. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop if y'all keep rolling, so don't think I'm shutting it off. I just need to move over. <laughs> make sure I got room on my bench. If not, I'll have to make room. Yeah. Uh, oh. Brandon, you gotta be so, fast because Edgar's on. He's he's on it. Edgar's, oh, oh, they're playing. They're, they're playing competition, and uh, who can snipe out the uh, <laughs> the haters? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Edgar, right, quick. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, Edgar Curtis, man, them two, them two are pretty bad. They, they're quick on the draw. Quick on the draw. Oh, he's on his phone. That's why. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a second, guys. I got to use the rest of my heart, though. Water dripping on the AC over here. So. You okay? Oh. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. I'd like to take y'all in there with me. But no, I'm going to leave up here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, those are never fun, MB. Here you yawn all the way into the restroom, bro. <laughs> you what? I heard you yawn all the way into the restroom. <laughs> Who the hell yawned? You? Was it you? I didn't yawn. Yeah. Well, the ghost is tired of me already. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to more sponsors, guys. As soon as I get confirmation of gear on here or however they're going to do it, then I will post their name so everybody can update their uh, sponsor deal. So I have to turn this sideways because the tickets are so long. So there's. <laughs> 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, Seven hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to figure this up because it's not gonna give us enough space going longer than this. Let me move some picture rods around real quick. <laughs> set the hook. Set the hook. <laughs> do I move the cardboard up a bit that way it gives me a little bit more space definitely a unique problem to have here at the, at the shop guys definitely I get the same thing, Jaime. Well, 
What's that? What happened? Huh? What was that? Did what? You get the last thing? What are you talking about? <laughs> I see this guy. <laughs> Make mine <mountain> crowns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me move this down a little bit more. Come on. Let me cut that. I bet you. Still catching big old black drum and goose. They're, they're, and especially with all this bad weather, what it is, they are they are still catching some big fish over there. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna catch alligator guard too because of all the rain that it's been coming in. So um, please let me know if y'all can see these. I'm gonna do five at a time or five tickets by the whole deal. Uh Y'all can still buy in, but right now this is our twelve hundred dollars. And actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the ticket at? Roll. Still have more on it. I'll put those over here on the side because if tickets happen to sell, then we can add them in. Those are the remaining tickets for four life right there. I just put a four because he's the only four life out there. <laughs> He's got a very unique one, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, fix this real quick. All right. So y'all can read all y'all's names, guys. <laughs> or should I go a little closer? There's five right there. Yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah. No doubt for drum. Okay. So we got next five. There, there's six. reading the comment trying to hold this steady <laughs> oh that is too funny that is too funny you all right and the last portion of them are right there all right guys if anybody has any questions let me know for sure <laughs> hey, if y'all can buy, you know, y'all can hire a nurse, man. Definitely, you know, we can use it down here. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> Everybody good? Everybody good? Let's see. Okay. All right, God, that looks amazing. It's all covered in red. That looks wow. I gotta take a picture of that because I've, I've we've never had this many tickets sold to one drawing. Sure. Yeah, that looks good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Any, any more come through cash up? Let me check cash up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I miss what I miss. Exactly, Billy. <laughs> 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 
True that. Yep, yep. Right. Right. Nothing on catch up, nothing in there. Mm -mm. Okay, let me pick my fish here for sure. So this is amazing. That is wow. That is awesome. I just turned on the phone, so it's catching up with everything that it's been missing throughout the day. So. That's all, that's all. <laughs> Guess I could start tearing it up, but we're at 1200 and 10, 20, 30. We're at $1,230 right now. 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. $1,230. What? What? From five dollars. <laughs> From five dollars. Yeah. All right. So. Wow. So, hey, was everything good today, uh, Jacob? Oh, yeah. Good, good to go, good to go. And you said, and earlier you said it was cold or that you were old? And Both. I I, for some reason, huh? Both. <laughs> How cold is it over there right now? I'll show you. See if it'll pick it up. <laughs> 68? No, that's inside. Okay. 18? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's 18 degrees outside. Damn. Wow, wow, wow. It was snowing today. Oh, really? Like yeah. heavy snow or like flurry? Ah, uh, just flurry. Still, man, that's still cold, bro. That is still cold. Yeah. We've been having a lot of like on and off misting rain, light drizzle, heavy drizzle, stuff like that. Yeah. Been with it for a few days now, so. On Friday, we're supposed to get three to five inches. Yeah, Friday, we're supposed to be get, we're expecting three to five inches of snow. This coming Friday? Yeah. Dang it. All right. Wow, that's... Damn, for you? Yeah. No, I'm in Michigan, me mechanic. Oh, up in Harrison, I'm on the kind of, I guess, the upper side of the middle of the state. There you go. Uh, the guy that drove in uh, today, he was from Wisconsin. I waved him saying, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't say it, though. I was kind of waiting. I didn't want, I didn't want to. Like say it, and then you know, and then he starts saying it because it was, it was, you know. So. Oh wow! What happened? Oh, Curtis is basically almost expecting the same thing. Storm warnings for him this weekend too. Dude. <laughs> I don't blame you, MB. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? 
He goes, yeah, I prefer being able to fish year round. <laughs> well, we can fish year round up here too. Just we got to drill through ice to fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Fishing checklist. Auger? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That's no <laughs> I'm good. I'm golden. <laughs> yeah. Now don't get me wrong, I'd like to experience it at least one time. Just one time. Why? You know. <laughs> <laughs> because it's still fishing at the end of the day, you know. So I can at least say I I've seen it, you know, done it. You gotta do it at least once, bro. You know. And I'll, i these guys around here that I've actually, you know, I've gotten to know up here. Some of their shanties that they got are pretty elaborate. Well, I think me tearing up the tickets wore me out more than writing down all the names. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I gotta split them up into the pot. Twelve hundred and thirty dollars, guys. Twelve hundred. Oh, you know, there we go. The empty. Yeah, no, thank you, William. Mm -mm. Trying to make sure they're not stuck. This man, this thing could be heavy with with tickets. I'm just now thinking about it right now. <laughs> I want to put your back brace on. All right. All right. I'm gonna go pop my back real quick. <laughs> Have you seen what I've been doing with the uh, like when your back starts to kind of creak up a little bit? I get a PVC pipe and I put it underneath my arms and uh, I pull on it you know, toward my back and it actually pops my back in those areas and makes the pain go away. So yeah, kind of like a chiropractor uh, doing it, but just in that specific spot. The only bad thing is it don't go all the way up my back, like between my shoulder blades where a lot of the pain sometimes comes from. I got to go to the actual chiropractor to get that portion pushed in. Nice. Or aligned. Did I say aligned? <laughs> Dirty potty mines out there, but it's caught that one real quick. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, Cam, it's either the super chat right here or on the cash app, which is dollar sign team hard life. Yes, sir. You got you got about a minute or two to get in. And it's five dollars. Twelve hundred and thirty dollars. Yes. I was waiting for that one for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this because some of these ticket, tickets you can feel that they're stuck together. So, <laughs> I'm sure they get. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? This is $1,230 of in-store credit. Hey, hey Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish it was 61. There's Cam with so, uh, There's Cam with two tickets. Two tickets? Yeah. All right. I can see the name from over here. <clears throat> Just can't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 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 All right, got two tickets right there. Uh, oops, excuse me. Uh, 
And now it is $1,240. We're at $1,240. Good. Everybody good. Last chance on cash app. Check that. See nothing. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Twelve hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, right. It does. Well, Curtis, it's not the ones that have it on vibrate. It's the ones that got a dual exhaust on there. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, everybody. $1,240. $1,240. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We all ready? Ready? I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, I'm trying to get as many of them in my hand as I can. Lady, you're just a side oh. You're just a side Unless she's lying. <laughs> wow. John Darnell, what? And that is one of the tickets he bought too. So I was I was looking up here to see if I saw anything that you know. That was one of the tickets he got. Wow! Congrats, John. So we seriously got to send John Darnell some money so we can get the lottery ticket because I've been noticing a lot of the lotto Texas finally getting in the pot. Like they're getting winners out of Texas. So like. Now's our moment, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, awesome. wow, wow, wow. All right, hold on. So that one was the first one. We got ten more tickets to pull. Actually. 13. We're pulling 13 tickets today. All right, here we go. That is boat up. Boat up right there. William. Boat up. <laughs> <laughs> William again. <laughs> that one caught me off guard for a split second. William. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Angel Lopez, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, Jacob's got the fart gun. For life, this one was bought by Curtis. <laughs> Four life right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Brandon right there. Pardon me. <laughs> John Darnell. Good Lord. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Three more. Three more. Billy, that one's bought by Four Life right there. <laughs> uh, 
And they, they need to have him where he says that, eh, eh, or like, eh. <laughs> Got Roger right there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Last one, last one. Let's see. William. So William, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four for William on that one. Hold up two. We got Angel Lopez. Four life got two. Brandon, John, Billy, and Roger. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, definitely congrats, congrats to everybody. The what? I said definitely congrats to everybody. Oh, yeah. Bang. And again, too, John, $1,240. Wow. All right. All right, guys. So, real quick, um, I done mixed up the order of what they came in. Um, oh, jeez, man. Well, I mean, I only got three stickers and I got a bunch of leaders. So, if y'all can give me a heads up of what y'all would like to win, and I'll start putting it in there kind of deal. So, I got three stickers and the rest are leaders for this, guys. So. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, Cam, what it is for is for in-store credit. I sell fishing tackle on my shop. I got advert reels, custom rods, custom tackle, leaders, weights, surf weights. Um, I've got our own clothing line and stuff like that. So what people do is use that credit to buy whatever they want to buy within the store. And we do this normally on Tuesday or Tuesdays and Fridays. But some of the guys are talking about they wanted to do a $5 one today. Because normally on Tuesdays, we do a $10. On Friday, we normally do a $20 one. Um, and, yeah, it just it went. It was Taco Tuesday or something, man. Y'all y'all definitely were going off. So, yeah. Well, William, for one of his tickets, he wants a sticker. Got it. Okay. What color? The black, white, or the uh, or it's black? Chartreuse or pink? Oh, it looks like Amy has the list, so he looks like she wrote it down. Oh, okay. Well, uh, load up. We'll go for leaders. Cool deal. Well, I'm trying to give everybody a little bit of a incentive, uh, pick kind of your deal. So she, she's going to text it to you. Okay. All right, we got two more stickers, guys. <laughs> yeah, more than likely we'll have more of these fun. We've done five dollar ones before, but I think they only went up to like two hundred bucks or something like that before. Yeah. So Robert will take a sticker. All right. So there's a pink and then there's a chartreuse one. You want a pink or chartreuse? Oh, he'll take the pink one. <laughs> I figured. I really did. <laughs> yeah, it's got right, for him and Brandon said he'll take the pink one. All right. Okay. All right, and the rest are leaders. That's the one I would have I would have taken, Brandon. Leader, 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 leader. 
leader, 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 leader. And then William, you still got three more, so those will be leaders. Oh, William. Yeah, I did say William. For some reason I was thinking Brandon in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, cool beans. Okay, it's the mother. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, he already he already retracted it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, that that was insane, guys. <laughs> Twelve hundred and forty dollars. What? 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 And John Dar John Darnell is probably going to end up buying out the shop at his rate of speed. <laughs> right? <laughs> he is out there. All right. So that is for life. And we've got for life. Williams. And then we've got Brandon. <laughs> he said, yeah, if I had a bigger right, garage. <laughs> so there's, there's William's sticker right there. Then we got Four Life right there. And then we got Brandon right there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, there we go. John, the what? Roger said John's opening a hard life Houston store. <laughs> he's opening a franchise, is what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rocket, bro. Rocket for sure, man. That is a. Oh, man. <laughs> Where are all the tickets? <laughs> Curtis, that poor woman. <laughs> what happened? Let's see. You worried about Amy? <laughs> she's, she's well versed in the uh, <laughs> having the, the thick skin. <laughs> I, I, I'm, will, I'm willing to bet that that be one you do not want to trifle with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you see what when, when uh, boat up put? I'll be at the Houston store at least twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Now um, I'm waiting to get our tackle into uh, uh we're getting into the line cutter store. We're also waiting on getting into uh, the other tackle shop that's there. Uh, Take it easy, Ray and John. Man, I, I went brain dead there for a minute. Yep. So. Yep, John. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> you got a. I'm going to have to just make a list of all your winnings on one sheet because if I keep putting tickets in there, I'm going to fill up this bag and that ain't, <laughs> ain't going to have room for all of that. So. All right. <laughs> Take it easy, Ray. There you go. <laughs> I call it a mission fraud. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, the good thing is we're covered. There was no electoral uh, ballots. Fake names cast. <laughs> All right, whiskey. You have a good one, boss. Yes, sir. Uber. You have a good one. Take it easy, whiskey. Yeah. Oh man, for sure, for sure, for sure. Today has been one rocky of a day, but it is another blessed day to be alive, guys, for sure. So. <laughs> yeah, no shoot. Whoop whoop. 
Yep, no, leave that one there. Leave that one there. That one's good. I, that one's good. <laughs> yep, we are definitely Trump 2024 because if he's not in office, guys, I, I am honest. I don't know if we'll be able to pull another four years the way it's been, you know. The, these presidents really do make or break, you know, the small businesses and stuff like that. So it is pretty, pretty tough for us to sit there and say that, you know, we can make it with any president when it's obvious every time the wrong president's in the office, we as small businesses end up paying, paying for it dearly. And, um, and farmers and I mean, ranchers. To be honest, you know what? Sit in farmers and ranchers and Oh yeah, yeah, big time, big time. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of speaking from personal experience here. But yes, if y'all ain't paying attention to y'all's wallets and and what it's costing to go through the store nowadays, or you know, our whole lifestyles have changed. It's not what it used to be, and man, it is amazing. Um, yeah, no, it's crazy, guys. So again. Oh, oh, I will never forgive her. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So, uh, damn, y'all already jumped up to three seventeen. I was noticing that other night when I left here at two in the morning, that gas earlier that afternoon was two eighty five, and when I left here at two in the morning, you know, five or six hours later, it was three three oh five or three ten. I was like, yeah, man, like. I was so mad at myself for not filling up on gas before I left, you know, or before I came in. Yeah, it, it sucked, man. So, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, we're the same price as William. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it does, man. It really does. And, you know, and when they were talking about, you know, putting minimum wage at $15 an hour, I was really, really considering how am I going to make that happen, you know, without my prices of the shop going insanely high. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I've got to be able to make sales, pay the bills, and then still make enough to pay my workers and still make enough to take home, you know, so I can feed my family, too. You know, that's the whole reason of being in business is to sell, sell tackle or, you know, sell whatever you're going to sell. Make enough to where you pay all the overhead and then still buy buy in on what you sold because you got to replace the product. It doesn't just magically reappear once you sell it. You got to buy it again to turn around and sell it. You know what I mean? And when they were talking about that, I was already looking at my price. I was like, ah, man, that, that's going to force me to close because people aren't willing to pay that, you know, those kind of crazy prices. When again, too, the pay scale, yes, it went up, but it's just to compensate for everything else that's gone up. And in reality, you're still in the same boat. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Dang, he said 10, 5, 10 in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Wow. Good night, Brandon. Brandon, you have a good night, boss. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, well, we got quite a bit of winners tonight, guys, for sure. That was that was an amazing drawing. That I, 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 I was honestly thinking we we're gonna get maybe 250, 280, but yeah, <laughs> y'all yeah. are amazing. Y'all, y'all really are amazing, guys. I really do thank everybody for playing with us and enjoying it too. I mean, uh, that is wow. But she probably feels really blown away. Yeah. So. yeah. Right. What happened? Oh, Billy says I'm about to get a rice burner with these prices. I'm about to get a bike with these prices. What are you talking about? I ain't even going to be able to afford that one either. Shoot. I'm going to have to start shipping, shipping all my deliveries instead of going to make the delivery myself on gas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Golly, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I know uh, New York is in for, I mean, they're already all jacked up as it is, but, you know, if they 
they seriously pull all that with Trump, man. They they're not just affecting him. They're going to affect everybody within all those businesses that could look for him for work. You know what I mean? So it's going to God all because of a personal vendetta, man. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Well. And that's scary, man, you know, to sit there and think that, you know, instead of following the law, they're just making it up as they go kind of deal with that. That's really scary, man. I don't think we have for it tomorrow. You and me both. <laughs> you and me both. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I know I could do it, but, you know, my kids and wife wouldn't be able to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I know I've done it. I have no problem doing it, for sure. Won't feel it for the first couple of years, but after that, you know, everything that you took out there would be rusted away, kind of deal, yeah. you know, vehicle included. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Be right back. You, you, you getting ready to crash? Oh, oh. <laughs> you getting ready to crash? Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to finish this right here and I'm going to move into cleaning those weights because I need to um, find out where we're at. We got kind of a running tally of how much gear we have made for the order because uh, that order is going out tomorrow. So a lot of them, a lot of them are already talking about leaving New York. A lot of them are because it's scaring them because they're they're realizing if Trump get if they get away with this with everything with Trump that they too can also be affected by it by companies willing to take them to court for the same deal the same exact practices that everybody does because there was no um, glass plus that same thing uh, what do you call it. Come on, why don't you close? There, there, there is no victim. Like, there's no, no victim other than a scorned woman. That's all it is. Her feelings got hurt for whatever reason, and everybody that's supporting her. I mean, it's gonna come to light one day, guys. It really is, and I what pray it's sooner than later. You know, who are we talking about? Uh, uh, the one, that lady that's pro trying to prosecute Trump through all of this. The, the one from New York, yeah. yeah she's a freaking joke. Oh my God, hey, that 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 is an understatement right there. That's bad heartburn in the middle of the night kind of deal. It's just like her and yeah. AOC just need to disappear. They need to do something with them. Take them out of power. Put them in a rest home along with their their residing lost in chief. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, so. Carl, you have a good night, brother. Yeah. I know everybody's everybody's starting to knock it down over here and stuff. So, but I do want to thank everybody again. Remember, our twenty five thousand subscriber mark giveaway is coming. Um, we are getting about five hundred new subscribers every every you know about five to ten days. We're we're getting that many. So again, guys, don't miss out on our twenty five thousand subscriber mark giveaway. More sponsors are rolling in and signing up. So um, as soon as we get all their packages in, we'll start sharing their, their names and their gear that they're putting out there. And like I said, you have to do the uh, screenshots of sharing the, the, uh, the screenshots of sharing the links of the videos and or of the YouTube channels from uh, Team Hard Life and Jacked Up Leatherworks right here. One of the prizes is a custom reel cover from Jacked Up Leatherworks, and actually, they I found mine a little while ago. <clears throat> it's about time. under the counter over here. What? It's about time. Yeah, no, it's, it's here. It's safe. It's always by me. It's always by me. <laughs> Hi, Edgar. Sure. Damn. How long ago did you build that one? Was it three years ago, almost? <sighs> I have no idea. I can't remember. It's about three, almost four years ago. You going to bed? Mm -hmm. We sprayed the sink. We're gonna let it sit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, Edgar, you have a good night, boss. 
<laughs> True that. Yep. Yep. Billy, Billy nailed it right there, man. They know that if he gets in office, all of them names are going to be coming to light of who went to that island. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Yep, that is not... And you notice how it's been real quiet lately about it? It happens. It goes through when it's on the top of the media, and then it's quiet and quiet and quiet about it. Yeah. Mine is old, guys. This is one of the first original... Real covers that <laughs> uh, Jacob did years ago, and that looks still immaculate. I love even though even now years later it's starting to show the wear and tear. Yeah, buddy, and then the felt on the inside. Oh, that is so soft. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Definitely, that's for my Abbott One Hundred and Thirty, guys. That one is, yeah. Pretty proud of that thing. Just a little. <laughs> yeah. Boat up, Mike. This is actually another one that I'm getting done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So that's where it sits on the rod where the seat seat is. And... So if y'all don't know what Jack uh, Jack Up Leatherworks is doing is donating to the winner that is selected. They get to pick what real cover they want for what size, whether it be a 50, an 80, or a 130. And then you get to pick the tooling and colors, what, whatever you want. Jacob is doing it as part of one of our 25,000 subscriber mark giveaways. Um, so, again, the only way to get in it, you cannot buy your way into this giveaway, guys. You got to earn your way into it. And what it is is you share the link of one of our videos, whether it be us or Jacked Up Leatherworks, and the link, or the links to the YouTube channels as well. You can. I've got over 3,000 videos, so you have plenty of videos to choose from, and you can enter as many times as you want, kind of like the drawing tonight. You know, a lot of guys bought a lot of tickets. Well, you can do it as many times as you want. All it means is you got more of a chances to win multiple prizes, and again, too, you can win multiple times, like on our regular drawings. Just because you win once doesn't mean you're disqualified. No, you've earned to be able to win more prizes. So if you put in a lot of referrals that way and screenshots, I highly recommend doing different videos every time so that way it's easier for me to check through them and it makes it faster. And then you submit it to our email, which is teamhardlife1 at gmail.com. And Jacob also has... Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok that you can share the links to as well. Uh, so, yeah. And it's to any social media platform out there, guys. And if you don't have a lot of social media platforms, you can still send it via text. I will not be posting the pictures, but I do need to be able to see that it was shared to other people trying to get more people to subscribe to our channel. Obviously, the faster we can get to 25,000 subscribers, the faster we can do these giveaways. And I'm telling you guys, the more it's going to go there. However, as soon as we hit 25,000 subscribers, I'm going to cut it off. You're, we're not going to be allowed to enter any more after that. So as soon as it says 25,000, I'm going to get notified, and then that's the cutoff time. So if you enter anything thereafter, it will not count. <laughs> So, just, just a heads up, guys. Now, if you want to keep doing it out of the goodness of your heart to help us grow... But by all means, thank you for, for, for helping us out like that, for sure. We're trying to get Jacked Up Leatherworks to get to 1,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And that's been my goal. That's been my goal for a long time, guys. So I definitely I want to see his channel start making money and stuff like that amongst all the things that he does. Uh, that's just one of my goals. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're getting it. Well, see, and here's and, the thing about it, too. You know, you're... For this twenty five thousand subscriber giveaway, you know you're getting a real cover from me. Now, 
Imagine what the 50K mark is going to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go back and look through all of our subscriber giveaway marks. And you will see how serious we take the subscriber giveaways. They are always big. We, we always outdo the one before and the one before that. And, and, and it's always because our sponsors help us out. Our, our subscribers are definitely in it to help us out. And it, it really does. We really do find a way to pay it forward back to our subscribers. Because without y'all doing what y'all are doing, we could not keep doing what we do. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amy could take care of that for you, Curtis. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, for life, you have a good night, brother. Yep. I'm actually going to switch over and start breaking weights over here. I wanted to keep building the leaders, but I, I'm dying to know what, what the, the weights are going to have for us. So I got to get a kind of a rough estimate because I will be making deliveries tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. But just so you can kind of, kind of get an idea, those are the leaders that I built today. <laughs> and you can see the difference between the pearl and then the chartreuse right there. So got another pearl and another pearl. We definitely make some different kind of colors, guys, for sure. And y'all can see up on the wall, too, it's starting to fill up. Those two stacks are almost even now, right there. Once I put the ones that I'm working on today, they're going to go on those two right there. And uh, those should be filled up like those by the end of tomorrow. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you yeah you sure right on that William <laughs> that's when I first bought my ball bat <laughs> oh man three favorite colors colors hmm. I always like green green has always been my color right there for sure but now I got I got so many to choose from in my my crown my crayon box over here. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go. He's, he's on the road. He's going fishing. I think you sent us sent me some pictures already too. I'll take a look at them here in a bit. There, uh, boat up. You appreciate he's doing that and sending us some some pictures like that for sure. <laughs> My three favorite colors: be blue, green. And that old dot oh, yeah. has plum. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Hold on, redneck. Let me let me let me clarify something for you, boss. If you ain't already see it, I've got a flag right there. I got another flag right here on my desk. And let me let me let me walk around a little bit. Let, let you know. Yes, for sure. Thought that was a fishing question kind of deal. I've got my colors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. And then if you even look behind my my countertops over here, never would throw a, a even if it's just a sticker of a flag. That don't even go in the trash. And I got more over here everywhere. There are my colors. That, yes, most definitely. Oh, yeah. That for you, Sarge. Have to change your life. Well, I, I believe, I believe he died for our sins, but I still believe you have to change your life. And the reason you have to change your life is because you've got to put God at the center of your life. You know, that you wake up and he is the first thing you think about. And before you go to sleep, 
He's also the person you thank when you wake up and when you go to sleep. Throughout the day, as I've learned that when I go throughout the day and things just, they happen, um, it, it, it's, it's amazing to, to know how he works in your life. And for sure, it's, it's there. So, no, God, God, God bless us all. And praise be to our, our Father up in heaven that watches over us and blesses us all, keeps us safe. And a prayer going out for all those in harm's way and or sick or in need of his light in their life. Okay. Amen. Yep. Well, I've I got one for y'all too. And actually this one I have it put away. I got I got some more in the back office. I'm gonna show y'all one that y'all might think is pretty interesting. I do, that's why I have it kind of stowed. Let me see if I can find it real quick because everything that come in come through. All right, so there's the flag. That's another one. Let's see, hold on real quick. I'm looking for something specific about this flag, guys. Give me a second. Um, I think y'all will get a real... Ah, there we go. So... There it is. Check this out, guys. Gotta come on. Let me turn on the light so y'all can see. So it says, uh, let it be known that this American flag through the skies of a free Iraq from MCAS Al-Assad and U.S. Marine Corps F-18 Hornet in support of Marines, soldiers, and multinational coalition forces in the second Marine Expedi Expeditionary Force Area of Operations, Iraqi Operation Iraqi Freedom 0406. And my brother had it, had the flight designated for me right there. Those are the, the, the lieutenant colonel and the pilot, the lieutenant colonel as well, that flew the aircraft. That was the date it was flown on, the mission number, and the call sign of it. And that is the flag that I have right here. My brother gave it to me when he was overseas um, uh, and serving in Iraq and stuff like that. And it was folded up a long time ago. I've not gone back to properly fold it, but yes, that is one of them right there. So definitely, definitely, yes. Along with my other stuff from the Marine Corps when I got promoted to corporal and stuff like that. Yeah, there's there's some things in there for sure. I just haven't busted it out here because I don't trust any of the uh, uh, the building. <laughs> I don't trust any of the building to damage any of my gear, so it stays nice and protected. So, oh yeah, yep, yep. Yep, yep. <coughs> Oh, yeah, that, that, and then somebody, somebody hooked me up with this. Oh, cool. I haven't even busted it out of the plastic yet, so, yeah. Came to the shop and it was waiting for me here. I was like, oh, that is so awesome. So, yes, yes, yes. Nope. Roger, Roger nailed it right there for sure. Yep, Billy, I know. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, actually, uh, my buddy that, that brought me that flag, too, almost wasn't able to give it to me. He was in a convoy, and uh, that morning, 
uh, him and the leader of the group, they normally would switch out vehicles. And it was his, one of his best friends over there. And uh, it was his, his buddy switched out with him that day. And that was the vehicle that took the, the uh, IED and his buddy didn't make it. So if it had been his day, it more than likely would have been him and I never would have gotten it. So, yeah, it... It, yeah, always, always got love and respect for our troops, their families, and yeah, first responders as well. You know, we may not always see eye to eye with them, but I guarantee when shit hits the fan, they're the ones running toward it. So, mm -hmm. yep. yeah, that yep. I've got that. I've got. I've had that shadow box made for my great uncle. Mm -hmm. So and it's got his wow. service date and years, years he was born. Of mm. course, the day he died, December seventh, nineteen forty-one, USS Arizona. Oh wow! He he was in Hawaii uh, uh, on the Arizona one. Wow. Jeez. Yep. Yep. It's def definitely amazing when you know that they. they Wake the sleeping giant, you know. So, oh man, yeah, I, I don't doubt it, man. So, yeah. let's see. Ah. yeah, but and and that's the thing, and and. And it haunts me, but, you know, I talked to a lot of the guys that, you know, got to go overseas and, you know, they, they look at it the opposite way because they've been there, you know, they're like, dude, like you lucked out, you know, you really did. So like I said, I understand that I'm not taking away from that, but I do take away from the fact that that's why I signed up. Like I signed up to be the guy on the front line to be able to know that I backed up my brother's while they were, you know, on the front lines with me, you know, we signed that dotted line of a blank check, you know, and mm -hmm. for it to be, you know, basically that opportunity stripped away from me just because I wasn't part of their clique and or part of their uh, uh, political motivations or whatever they were doing, you know, at the time. And, and I mean that sincerely because that's why I joined. You know, I grew up in government projects. I wanted to see the world. I wanted to know that I stood for something. And granted, everybody says, hey, dude, you serve. You backed us up because when all of that started going over and I was actually um, forced into the position of taking over the whole shop, me and another corporal, we took our battle readiness from like 30 that was like 33% to 89% in a matter of about four to six months of us taking over. Uh, a lot of those troops that served over there, man, they came back to our, our shop personally and wanted to thank us because we kept, when the equipment needed to go out and they requested it, it was there. Like they didn't have to worry about it. They didn't have to. And it got to the point that like when equipment came from our specific shop, the guys that were on the ships and or flying the aircrafts, they knew that they didn't have nothing to worry about. Like our gear was second to none when it came through and it was ready to go when it was when it was said ready to go. Uh, they said a lot of times they would get gear and once it was on the ship, they had to work on it themselves while it was out there. And, you know, that, you know, that's that's hard to believe. But, you know, hearing it from them, it was something else. So. The guys that came back from ship, you know, I told them, man, I wanted to go and this and that. And they go, dude, we were so glad you weren't you weren't on those ships. That you were over here making sure the gear we got on those ships was ready to go, man. That really. And so I got a lot of respect. I, I earned a lot of respect and praise from those guys. But deep down inside, in the back of my mind, you know, I still feel like I was cheating. You know, I did not get to go in that direction and stuff like that. So. It, it happened, but, you know, it's something that I've had, you know, had to learn and live with and, you know, count my blessings because you never, you know, it was more than likely a blessing in disguise kind of deal. So. Night, Roger.
All right, Roger. You have a good night, brother. You'll be safe tomorrow, too, at work. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, I, I – well, this – this is the way they played the games with us. They told us, like, the class that had just graduated before us, they came out and they're like, hey, man, if you want to go overseas, don't raise your hand. Because they're going to ask, you know, who doesn't want to go overseas, you know, raise your hand. So the guys that raised their hand didn't go overseas. The guys that kept their hand down, they raised, they, they got to go. And I was like, all right, cool. So when they asked the question again, we sat there like this, thinking that... We were going to get to go overseas. And no, they selected the guys who raised their hand, saying they didn't want to go, to prove a point that they no longer owned their body, that the Marine Corps owned their body. I was like, wait a minute. Like, y'all just said that, you know, like, why are y'all going to play mind games? Like, I, I was pissed. I pulled the South Sarn aside. Like, obviously, we were respecting everything. Me and another, you know, Lance Corporal at the time were like, what the fuck? Like, you know, why, why are you, well, you know, they came up with that sorry excuse. Well, we need to teach him on side. I don't care if you want to teach them. Still send me. Like, I still want to go. Like, And so if it wasn't that, it was something else that, oh, you don't have enough rank or you don't have enough quals. You don't have this. You don't. And it was everything that I didn't have. So every time I got told no, it, I just upped the ante. And I upped the ante and upped the ante. And then when I had everything that they could possibly imagine, especially with that backing of going from 33 to 89% with that other corporal, the next deployment came up, and I, I wasn't on it. There, and I was like, "Well, you said you didn't want to go." Well, because you've sent everybody else that doesn't want to go. Like, why do I want to say I want to go, and you're going to deny me either way? And like, oh, I was so pissed. I was furious. <laughs> so, then I, I comes to find out that the reason why they didn't want to send me was because there was a staff sergeant on the list to go, and he was supposed to be running gun shop. Well, gun shop was my shop. We didn't have a, a, a staff sergeant in our shop or a sergeant. We were E4s running the shop. We were holding an E6, E7 billet and as E4s. So they said, well, you got all the qualifications and he doesn't have them. So, you know, we think you might send him to the child hall. I said, well, I mean, if triage you know if i don't need him i'm gonna get him out of there like if they need help i'm gonna send the guy i don't it's i'm not gonna have somebody just standing there doing nothing when he can be an asset somewhere else yeah and they go well that's what we figured and that's why we're not sending you yeah so i said peace i said i'm done <laughs> and started uh and i still had six months and, and that was the next day. I, I had six months, and I already had a re-enlistment package that got approved. I was our, uh, what, what they call R, RE1 Alpha. That's like the highest rating you can get to get back into the service. So I was ready for re-enlistment, top grade, like everything was good. And after I found that, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like, I'm tired of playing y'all's game. Y'all have a damn good Marine in front of y'all, but y'all want to choose to play these games. I don't like playing games. Like, I'm up front, man. I'm either on this side of the fence or on that side. I don't like walking the, the top of the line and stuff. And so, yeah. So I ended up withdrawing my my, my re-enlistment package in. And I, they actually had to go into, like, I guess a special area of all the top Marines and pull it out of there because they were already counting that for their next quota of guys that were going to re-enlist and stuff like that. And so I ended up having to talk to the base CO when they came down to it. They're like, well, uh, the CEO wants to talk to you. I said, why does he want to talk to me? They go, well, because you're withdrawing your re-enlistment package. They go, you've already been approved. I'm like, it doesn't matter no anymore. Like, I've been here for four years, and they have jerked me around for four years. Like, I'm sorry. Not about that kind of lifestyle. Like, what, what's going to happen? I go over there for six months and come keep me back here for the rest of three and a half years? Like, no. I said, I joined, and this is me talking to the CEO. Like, I thought, can I, you know? I asked permission to speak plainly, and I, I, I spoke plainly. <laughs> I spoke plainly. I was like, sorry, sir, it's not going to happen. And he goes, and he was, he was actually there for something else that I was being honored for, and then another time, and so he knew who I was already. So he was kind of upset. He's like, there's no way I can persuade you? I said, 
I said, not really. I said, because y'all, uh, everything that I've asked for, y'all can't, y'all don't want to give me. Like, I got to do this for y'all now to be able to get that when I should have already been getting that. Like, why? So, yeah, he, yeah. he knew what I was asking for was to be sent overseas. And I want to be overseas for years. Like, I was like, just send me to a, a foreign base, you know, push, uh, put me on a ship. I don't care. Like, treat me, you know, hurt, threaten me with a good time kind of deal. I'm a fisherman. Like, boat would have been awesome, you know. So I would have been fishing with the captain in the back of the boat <laughs> on the fantail or something, you know. But I don't I'm, So that, that still irks me to this day. But uh, I have nothing but love for the military, all branches and stuff like that. So, you know. The end of the day, that's what it, that's what it is, you know. But, yep, yep. Yeah. But uh, let's see what did Misty put in there? Oh, Misty from Alaska. Okay, I, I was just about to ask that. I'm on sweet rig for halibut fishing. What's your biggest halibut? I gotta know. Like that's one of my bucket lists right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, I I spoke freely, and and I mean I didn't have any cuss words in there, but I did I did point, and actually when I went in there, the gunnery sergeant that had thrown me under the bus for uh, an NJP that should have been a slap on the hand was standing there, and I, I basically called him out, like I said, you know, and and you were there when. You know, this gunnery sergeant right here was telling me one thing outside your office as you were taking over the the the, uh, the division here. And he tells me one thing and then tells you something else that shows me what kind of leadership that I'm supposed to follow, that they're going to sit there and have zero integrity and lie to a junior Marine instead of, hey, you know what, if he'd have told me straight up front outside, hey, man, you screwed up. This is yours. Whatever, whatever he would have said, I can own up to my faults. I messed up. Hey, Roger that gun. But no, he said no. I got you. This, that. Don't worry. You're good. This is, this is something that's gonna sweep under the rug. It's not even gonna affect you. And when I got in there, and he, he, and actually the CEO asked him, like, you want to go and let the. Uh, no, he said, you want to go ahead and speak on behalf of this, this, this Marine here? And he goes, no, I already done told you what I told you. He goes, no, I want this Marine to hear what you have to say. So it forced him to say what he told the CO. And so when he did that, I heard it. And I, I was like, uh, uh, dude, it, I lost military bearing. Like, I was of attention. He started talking, and I was like, what a, a piece of shit. <laughs> like, in my head, I was thinking, I was like, I, I just like, God, I was like, all right. So he spoke, did everything. So the CO looked at me and he goes, all right. He goes, I see you have all these Marines that are supporting you on what your claim was. I said, you know what, sir, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss them all. I said, because it's already evident that you're willing to take his word over everybody else's word that's here to defend me on what had actually happened that night. And you're going to take his word over that. So, you know what? I'm not going to waste their time, my time, or your time. I'm just going to take whatever you're going to give out because I'm, I'm willing to bet I'm going to get the same punishment as another guy who had like 15 charges. And he got the same punishment as I did. Mine should have been a slap on the hand. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually, I lost two ranks that day. My, my promotion warrant for sergeant was sitting on the desk right there. He goes, well, you're not promoted yet. Tore that up and stripped another rank for me. So, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. So, when I finally went to go re withdraw my deal, he, I already know he knew who I was because he was there for that because he forced that gunny to say what he said. And that gunny was still in there this time. But now I just, I, I was throwing fingers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I did die at that point. Like I was, I mean, I already have a reenlistment package approved. They already pre-approved it six months ahead of time. Like they were ready for me. Like they wanted me back. I, I, I said I don't want. I, I don't want to have nothing to do with this command because it already shows me they do not care 
about keeping the good Marines and they'd rather keep the shitty Marines. Well, you know what? They're all over there back at the work section. You can have every shitty fucking Marine there is. And those guys that got in trouble all the time for fighting for, like, drunken alcoholic offenses, like crazy, like getting in trouble every weekend kind of deal until they got punished or they got locked up. And Yeah. yeah. You're, were you Paris Island? Cherry Point? Oh, uh, no. For boot camp? No, I went to California, San Diego. Where, no, where were you stationed? Cherry Point, North okay. Carolina. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was part of uh, the MAG-14 Mag group, which is the second air, Marine Aircraft Wing. And I actually worked on the uh, AV-8s. With, um, it's a Harrier, the jump jets. So the main okay, system yeah. I worked on was the, the gun system, which was the GAL-12, which would shoot 3,000 rounds a minute, even though the ammo pack only held 300 rounds. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Meritorious gunning. Wow. Awesome. Actually, I, I went up for meritorious promotion from Lance Corporal to Corporal, and I missed it by, I think, one point. There was something that was holding me back, so they didn't let me go and compete. And then as a corporal, I went to sergeant's course, and then I got into it with the staff sergeant there because he, um, the Marine in front of me kept falling back, and he kept doing the accordion effect. Well, I kept the same pace from the guy that was in front of him. This guy would back up until he, I'd push him so he would keep that distance again. And then one of the times he fell back on me like that, and then I pushed him and he ran forward. He created the gap in front of me and him. So the, that staff sergeant came up and grabbed me thinking that I was the one creating the gap. And when he grabbed me, we were next to a ravine that was like 15, 20 feet down to concrete gut, like a concrete gutter system. And when he grabbed me, I slipped and I rolled right there on it. I almost slid all the way down. Oh, I was, I, I was ready to fight him. <laughs> I was ready to fight him. I was like, finally, when I, when I, when I got up and, and got out of there, I, 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 was, I was ready. And he goes, man, if you ever looked at me like that while we're out, out in, in, in public, he thought I would have handled you. I said, you could have tried. <laughs> so, you damn well could have tried. Like, I, I was, and so... I went in and go talk to the gunny, which was the senior the senior instructor of the course because he was a staff sergeant. And while I was in there, he was complaining about me, saying that I was falling behind on the run. When I was their number one PF tier, I would literally run circles around the formation with the guide on because I was one of the squad leaders. Like I was their highest PF tier. Like the, for physical training, they there wasn't another guy ahead of me. And he wanted to say that I was falling out of a force march. Bro, what are you smoking? Like, no. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, yeah, we worked with the Air Force one time. Well, I was in uh, Pensacola, Florida. We were going to school there, and uh, they were getting hazard pay for being on the same base as Marines, and then hazard pay because the living conditions were not up to their standard for, for what – and this is coming straight from them. Like, we talked to them and found this, all this out. And, like, even then, they were, like, told not to talk to Marines kind of deal. And we kind of, like, we would notice they would always avoid us. Always, And so, I, you know, I'm a friendly dude. Like, so I went up and talked to them and found out all this from them. Like, they got hazard pay. They got um, endangerment pay. They got, like, they were getting all kinds of pay raises for being on the same base. And I thought I was at a five-star hotel. <laughs> so... But all right, guys, I've got the 5% signal on here. This thing's about to die. Again, Jacked Up Leatherworks, this gentleman right here on the channel. And... I think it doid. Yep, I think it died. <laughs> yeah, he froze. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh well. All right, you guys have a good night. <laughs> don't forget, don't forget to share the video out, guys. Have a good one.